some Long Island Railroad commuters may have felt like they stepped into a time machine when they boarded their train over the last few weeks. I definitely didn't expect this. It's, it is pretty cool though, it's the old style ones. Make, yeah, it makes you feel like you're back in the day a little bit. <laughs> After being on the sidelines for nearly three years, the LIRR's 1980s era M3 trains are back. The railroad expected to be able to retire the rolling relics by now, but it needs the old cars to make up for a train shortage as it heads toward its new Grand Central Madison service this December. These trains are truly a blast from the past. The wood paneled walls, the seats held together by duct tape, the ripped up posters. These trains first rolled out in 1985. Ronald Reagan was president and the number one song on the charts was Take On Me by AHA. About 70 M3 train cars were recently put back in service and railroad officials say they're performing well. But try telling that to the passengers on the M3 train that we boarded Tuesday afternoon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this train is being taken out of service here in Jamaica. Jamaica, the final stop. We got equipment problems. Jamaica, we're going to pop. Oh, come on. You can't, you can't oh, script this. <laughs> So I boarded this train in Valley Stream. It was supposed to go all the way into Penn Station, but wouldn't you know it, it broke down at Jamaica. Uh, they made everybody uh, get off, and now we gotta get on a different train. As soon as I got on, I noticed it was like a train I hadn't seen in a while, and now I know why. LIR officials said the issue was a flat spot on a wheel, a common problem on all trains during rainy days in the fall. Dean Morelli, who has been riding the railroad for 50 years, said it stands to reason that things break down as they get older. It's like me, right? I'm on my way to the doctor now. Alfonso Castillo for Newsday TV.